you. You look great. All right. Let me give one more round of applause for the Baltimore Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Brian? <laughs> Alright, so um, I had like, this whole thing that I thought this was going to be. And uh, I had a hell of a hard time be careful, curating man. new music. And uh, I just been going, I just been throwing ideas off the walls and I've been writing, but I wasn't in the space to do any new music, I feel, until I got. What I wrote in the very critical years leading up to who I am now. Mm -hmm. And so, as I was in the car going through a mini panic attack on my way over, I wrote this down. Where I'm at, the crossroads unfamiliar to my young old eyes, tested by ignorance and fueled by arrogance. I think I finally see what God was trying to do. Growth is a bitch. And so, for those of you who are like, what the hell is this Negro talking about? Basically, that last word, phrase encompasses me. Growth is a bitch. And I think I have to let this music outgrow me here tonight so I can actually start on something new. Mm -hmm. So these, and I hope y'all can get the guitar. These are a bunch of songs that I've written over the years that I, I could swarm when I wrote it. I was like, dog, it's gonna take me to the top. John Mayer, who? Stay who? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix? I ain't never heard of him. Of course, I was 14 and fueled by uh, Mountain Dew at that point. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Shout out to the Mountain Dew. But uh, here we go. This project had a title that I'm about to play for you guys. It's a body of work that's called Broke This Bitch. Hey! <laughs> 
No defeats all W's. Yeah. Man, imagine it's uh, sometime in the mid to early 2000s. Uh, Little Wayne is starting to not drop hits anymore. And I'm up in my bedroom trying to subvert the tropes of hip hop and rock to write something in the middle. I think we call that blues, and that's how that song came about. I was very much in my bedroom alone, drinking sweet tea. That was a summer filled with a lot of zits, a lot of acting. I was, I was, I was going through it. But in that same summer, uh, a former bandmate of ours, actually, you know who he is, he ain't getting no mention of. He and I penned down this incredible song. And uh, the winter time for me is one of these times of the year where it's just like, what if God just shower blessings every day? And every time it snows, I usually get some amazing blessing in my life. And so, this song is actually representative of a person in this room who represented it changing my life for the better and also just being someone new. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, my future wife, 
Yeah, do your thing, yeah, Jackie, Jackie, 